Good afternoon, my friends, from another video here in the beautiful mountainous town of Munar. I'm here with my bro, the Down doggy boy. dog, Down Boy, Good oh. Boy. And we also got the British legend here. Namaskram. He's not. Yeah, we're Namaskramming around the neighborhood here, and uh, we're going to be heading into the town. So we're actually staying at Fragrant Nature. You guys have probably seen if you've been keeping up with the daily videos here. And we're going to find ourselves a tuk tuk right now, negotiate a price to get us into town, and take you with us for the first impressions of this beautiful city of Munar. No tuk tuks around here. Hello! Namaskaram! 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 Tukumano! Uh, see, I think those, that was the Tuk Tuk Town Center right there. Yeah. Namaskaram! Namaskaram! Uh, Tuk Tuk? Tuk Tuk? Uh, auto rickshaw? Rickshaw? Right here? Yeah? Okay. My friend, do you know anyone that might have a Tuk Tuk around here? Do you know anyone that might have a Tuk Tuk? Auto? To the From town? Here? Yeah. It's a very rare to get here. Yeah. From one of those? No, it's all. Ah, uh, it's not for sale yeah. or for rent. No. How do we get a rickshaw from here? An auto. Uh, if you want, you have to book from here. Book from here. Yeah. If you want a share out or not, it will take fifty or twenty something. Otherwise, you have to pay hundred rupees from here. Hundred rupees. Yeah, it's a special. You just ask him. Okay. There's an auto. There we go. Thank you, my friend. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Uh, to the town center of Munar? Yeah. Yeah. 100? Yeah. Uh, Nani, my friends. See you. All right, guys. We actually got to go pick up uh, Harry. We've got him down here. Oh, right there, right there. Uh, Harry, hop in, my guy. <laughs> we found ourselves a fresh auto. Let's go. We're good to go, my friends. We'll see you on the flip side, Bye. yeah? All right. Namaskram. Namaskram. Goodbye, my friends. Did you go to the petting zoo over there? Yeah, um, it's a beautiful view, but got uh, goats. they're all eating the rubbish and this guy's packing some heat here. Whoa! Holy. Guys, so we've got roughly a uh, six, seven minute drive into the town center and I love this drive here. I don't know how much I've been able to show you of it during the day, but it's basically winding roads next to tea plantations here. Well, that's probably what you'll find in most of Munar, to be honest with you. But each, each set of mountains, obviously, you're going to get kind of a different view, a different feel to it. This side feels a bit more like the jungle. I will say guys, just driving into the town there, one thing that I really like about Monar is that they have a lot of signage about not littering. Fortunately, I've been to quite a few Indian cities. Unfortunately, I have found that there's a lot of places where a lot of places where there is a lot of litter. And so to see some of these, especially these really, really beautiful towns, tourist towns, where sometimes the tourist towns are the ones that get trashed the most, that's where they care a lot about making sure litter is not there, things are properly disposed of. So it's a really nice thing about Munar as I'm just driving into this place. And let me maybe add on to that guys though. I would say generally Kerala in total, like statewide, I've only been to Kochi now and now Munar, but like both cities I've been are very, very clean compared to other cities that I've been. And that is actually what I heard from one of the tourists. I want to say it was from, I don't know if he was from New Delhi or another spot, but he said that that is what brings in a lot of tourism is how clean, for example, Kochi is and then, you know, Munar that we're starting to realize as we cruise through this area. One of the big perks, you know, it just makes the place looks that much more attractive when you're driving in. If you're not seeing, obviously you'll still see some litter here, guys. There's no doubt there. But in terms of like the mass volumes that you might see in other places, uh, that is one of the things I like a lot. Oh guys, we're driving in right around dinner time. Oh, those smells that we can smell right now are delish. You can really tell the layout of this place is meant for tourists because there's just so many restaurants that are curated in terms of like um, their menu styles. They're popping out everywhere, especially when we just drove in. Now we're, I believe, coming into Old Munar. We're right at the uh, beginning of the entrance to Old Munar, kind of near the bus station. A lot of restaurants. Good afternoon. We're getting the locals going over here, bro. Sutomano. Sutomano. What does that mean again? Hello. Hello, Sutomano? Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, it means, uh, how are you? How are you? Suko? Like, Suko? Oh, Suko Mano. Yeah. Uh, who would have thought, guys? I'm learning from the British lad how to speak Malay a lot. Suko Mano, my friends. Oh, yeah. We got a group right here, guys. Let's Suko Mano. You can tell uh, the endearment between friends here. Everyone's got their arms around their good friends. 
Suko Mano, my friends. Hello, Suko Mano. <laughs> Got a couple replies there. They're probably like, what is going on? Hello. Got a wave out of him. <laughs> What do you think, bro? First impressions coming in hot? Oh, this is exactly what I was expecting. Very friendly people, and uh, it's actually nice temperature, like really cool. Yeah. Although, uh, I kind of feel like I'm a little bit underdressed because when it gets dark, it's going to get very cold. Yeah. He's, like, he's got the shorts on. I got the, I've got the pants here because I have been here a night longer than Mr. Jaggard. And let me tell you, it is a really nice break though from Kochi's heat, as Harry was saying. You know, like, because during the day it still gets nice and warm here, but then you kind of get that break in the evening, and then it actually gets pretty cold where you need a jacket at night. Uh, jacket run? No. Okay, keep it changed. Thank you, my friend. See you. All right. We have arrived to the town, guys, and let me tell you this. We jumped out of the tuk-tuk immediately because we saw the Chai Bazaar. Huzzah! Oh, they're not letting us through. Don't mind us, just going to the Chai Bazaar. Can we buy some locals for Oh yeah, let's do it. Hello. All right, hello Chai Bazaar. Oh, do we get fresh chai here? Oh, I think the Chai Bazaar, we go on this side. We get the fresh chai. Hello, hey. how are you? You guys have delicious, uh, delicious chai here? All right, I think we'll need to try out. Uh, hello, my friend. Hello. Can we try your best tea? Which kind of tea you want? Black tea or green tea, normal tea? Uh, what is uh, everyone's favorite? My favorite is black tea with the rose. Oh, all right, I'll take one black tea with a rose and then I'll also take one peach black, iced tea. Oh yeah, I got one cold, one hot one. There we go, that looks delicious. So this one's the iced one and then this one is our friend's uh, favorite type of chai right there at the Chai Bazaar. And then pay, and then pay here? Yeah, perfect. Sorry, I only have 500. Classic Nindi. Rose black tea. How much is this? Five. Um, 10 bucks, 5 bucks. You got a 5 bone there, my guy? 10 bucks. Uh, 10 bone snack? Yes. Uh, Alright, guys. Obviously, we had to start off at the Chai Bazaar, not just because we love chai, but also because Munar is very well known for the chai. So, this is about as fresh as it gets here. It's grown right in the mountains of where we're at. So. I figured the proper way to do it is to get the locals recommendation and to get something that just sounded refreshing which is going to be this peach iced pea. So I think with the sugar cube you're supposed to maybe eat it first. Oh, it's strong. Mm. Oh, it mixes nicely with the tea. I just ate my sugar cube bro. Tasted very good and then... You ate the sugar. Oh yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, right bro? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, Americans <laughs> Now let's try this one out. Oh, that is delicious. I think that's probably one of the best teas that I've had since I've arrived to India. Very good, very tasty. And I do love peach to be honest with you. We'll put one ice cube in there to cool it down. And then we'll try this one out. Oh, it's a little too hot to down. But if we, if we pour the other ice cube in there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, that is a great recommendation. I see why it's your favorite tea. Nani. Oh, guys, that is delicious. I'm gonna sip this one and enjoy it. Thank you very much, my friends. Delicious. All right, here we go. Hello. Hello. What's this? Oh, fresh lottery tickets. Kerala lottery. Oh, I wanna be a Kerala millionaire. Yeah. yeah? All right, time to try and cross one of these roads here. Oh, and we made it across. Halfway, 50% is completed, and then we're going for it. Successful crossing. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. Oh, the squad here. Hey, you're back for round three for the day? Yeah, very nice. You had a good time? Yes. Good time? Yeah, very nice. Goodbye, my friends. Should we hop on? We'll be namaskaram being all the way over there, bro. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, we're starting to get uh, downtown. We've got fruit markets here. We've got all kinds of stuff from small little uh, cafes to convenience stores, hotels down here. Oh, yeah, spice shops. You got a little bit of everything right in the center. So I think here is the uh, Tuk Tuk Central as well as the Jeeps down there. That's where all the Jeeps are hanging out if you want to get a tour somewhere. And then we have a pedestrian only bridge that we're going to be cruising across right here. And we're going over a little river running through the downtown area here. It's quite nice. Hello, Namaskaram. How are we doing boys? Yeah? All right, we missed one. Yeah? Very nice. 
as you can see here, we're connecting two sides of the city here. It's kind of like a multi-level market on that side. A bakery there, hypermarket. Just a little bit of everything. Oh, there, is that 5,000? We can get 500s, larger size. Oh. What is this? Is it a wallet? Indian money. Oh, it's to hold that. Yeah. How much? How much? Uh, 20. 20 rupees. 20 rupees. Oh, that's a very good deal. Uh, All right. Uh, only have a 200, my friend. All right, well, let's try this thing out. You mind holding that for a quick second, bro? So we got our 500 rupees. We're going to toss that thing right open. Oh, we're going to put that right inside there. Uh huh. That's looking quite nice. Oh, we're matching. Oh, ah, there we go. That's the way to do it here. So we fold it over and it's. Uh, that extra cash right there. Best purchase I've had now so far. There we go. I'm gonna start saying drinks on you from now on. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Allow me to pull out the rupee wallet, bro. Where come in, bro? Just give uh, from the US and the United Kingdom. England. Yeah, I gotta switch it over. It's okay. The guy, the whatever, guy goes by England. Whatever works for you. Yeah. yeah. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Hey, there you guys are. How we doing? How we doing? Uh, thank you, brother. Uh, where is good to go? Can, uh, where is thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Guys, it's crazy. This brand new wallet cost me 20 rupees. I threw them an extra like 30 or something like that because they gave me such an honest price, which I really appreciate. This way, yeah? All right, we're doing a little market run. Oh, we got a Jeep coming this way. Oh, full speed ahead, we're gonna die here. But guys, look at that. Your boys got that money wallet. Let's go, bro. Pink police. Yeah, the pink police right there. Hello, Namaskaram. Sukumano. Hello, how are you? Hang on. Uh, there he is. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. Uh, All right. Superam. Oh, Hyundai. Yeah. Oh, wrong. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our Sri Lankan followers will like that though. So we got fresh fruits over here in the marketplace. Yeah. Oh, got the. the man got a lot of garlic up there. How many? How many spaghettis do you think that could make? <laughs> Probably three or four hundred. Thousand maybe. Namaskaram. Yeah, guys, they have probably every possible vegetable you could ever think of and more. Hey, look at this. There's literally, there's so many vegetables here that I've never even seen before. Like, that is an interesting, maybe that's a cucumber? No, I don't think that's a cucumber. A, Namaskaram. Wow. And what is this thing? Is that a coconut? Mini coconut? Are these, are these coconuts, bro? Yeah, yeah, but they're not like, I don't think they're drinkable coconuts. Oh, okay. That's one of the ones you'd wear on your head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, namaskaram. Uh, namaskaram. All right, let's see what we got going on. Like this one, do you know what kind of... Uh, ginger. Gin oh, that's what ginger looks like. Yeah. All right. I was going to say, that one looks familiar, but I haven't had it. Hello. We're getting a full veggie tour right now. Fresh bananas, my friend? Yeah. Oh, perfect. You want one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two, two bananas, please. How much? How much do you want? You need some help? Cut it. Oh. I help. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How much, my friend? Thirty. All right. There you go, my friend. Thank you. All right. Fresh bananaskis. It's chow time, my guy. Oh wow, that's huge. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing, guys. Banana next to the size of my head. About the same size, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, my friend, Nani. Uh, Mr. Jagger took a bite. Is that orange? It's orange. Wow. It's good though. Yeah, it's good. Let's try it out, guys. Oh, it's much harder than a normal banana. It tastes similar to a banana, but yeah, much harder. Mm. But it's nice though. Hello, my friends. Namaskaram. That's one thing you guys can do here. You grab yourselves a banana and cruise through the markets. Mm -hmm. Lots of clothing options over here. All right, guys, we're doing a little bit of a market run here. I'm seeing we've got some fresh hats going on. LV hats. That looks kind of nice. Hello. Yeah, hello, sir. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. I saw you have some nice hats here. Yeah, even the perfumes. Uh, yeah. Perfumes, yeah, and hats. And hats, I yeah. Oh, perfect. You got some uh, Louis Vuitton options over here, yeah? I can walk back here? Yeah, sure. All right, all right. So that's a pretty fresh one right there. LV, oh, it's similar to the Supreme one. Let's check that out. All right, that's real? Yeah, that's the surplus. Oh, surplus, all right. Extra stock. All right, let's try this one out, guys. See how it fits. All right, toss it right on there. Oh, let's get the glasses on. All right, how are we looking? Quite nice? Yes, sir. Approved? Yeah, yeah approved. All right, and then uh, is this the only option you have for this uh, style hat? Are there other Louis Vuitton options? Um, 
same brand. Same brand, yeah. In this, I have a. This, we have the same one. There's no more colors. In the oh, same. no more colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so we got. Oh, nope. It's hiding under there. I did see one when we first walked in. There's one right down here. Oh, no, that's the same one. And then there's a green one. Oh, can I try that one? A lime green hat. So that one will be able to stick out quite a bit then. All right. Is it going to be a good size for my noggin? All right, let's try that one out. Oh, there we go, guys. We're sticking out here. We've even got the uh, Louis Vuitton uh, price tag on there. I'd say that's uh, pretty fresh looking. Huh. Highlighter. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm heading to uh, Panama City Beach for spring break vacation. That'll do. All right. I'm thinking uh, how much for each one? Yeah. This is uh, 190. 190. Yeah. This is for 460. Oh, 460. All right, all right. So I'm thinking we'll probably want to go with the 190 option today, guys. I feel like that's a bit more budget friendly. Exactly. There we go, my friend. Yeah, it's okay. this on. Just for this one, yep. Yeah. Thank you so much. And your good name? My name is Shahid. Shahid. Yeah. Shahid from uh, Munar. Uh, from in Kananur. 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 Yeah. Ah, how far is that? Yes, uh, around 400 kilometers. Oh, so yeah. how many years you live here? Yeah, I'm uh, living here for the last 12 years. 12 years, ah. And you like Munar? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's very nice. This is your shop? Yeah, I can't agree with um, Yeah, very nice. I think you are running in a channel other than some. Uh, oh, yeah. Is there. Are you a future subscriber? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, my friend. I'm from the United States. Yeah, in the States, yeah. United States, yeah. Yeah, you too. World Nomad, yep. Yeah, what, are you, what are you focusing on in channel? Travel, travel vlogs? Travel vlogs, food, culture, things to do, places, things to buy, all uh, kinds of things. Okay, so anyway. yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, perfect. It was so good to meet you. Thank you so much for the purchase. Yeah, goodbye, my friend. All right, guys, you're looking at a proud new owner of my LV hat. So that's about 190. 190 comes out to roughly just under two US dollars, maybe a dollar 70, so a good price. Pretty high quality here. We do have some strings missing out that are being pulled out of the side here, but I think it'll do. Hello, sir. I need a chicken thigh. Oh, French oh, Marines yes. there, bro. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. you'll be good to. Can you uh, tell me whether that's silver or not? The way I was trying to figure out, it's usually silver's quite heavy, and that doesn't feel heavy. But this, uh, that's, is that silver? Yeah. Yeah, feel the difference of that. Is, yours is bigger though. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a lot heavier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not silver. Why did he tell you it was silver? Yeah. Uh, it might be though. The true no. test is wear that thing into the ocean. Yeah, but I, yeah. I'm time constrained, so the best way would be to go to a different jewelry and find out. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. See if you can sell it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go across the road. How much did you pay? Four fifty. Oh, four fifty. All right. Six dollars. So. Six bucks. I paid a thousand when I bought this one in Kerala, okay. in Kochi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, brother. Namaskaram. Ah, Namaskaram. How we doing? Supermano. Supermano. All right. I go to the guru. You're going, yeah? I'm trying to find a chocolate shop around here. There's one back in that little market. Ah, yeah. All right. So we'll go to that one. I'll. Uh, I'm gonna cruise down to that chocolate shop over there. All right, guys. We are walking right here in the middle of the road. But uh, we're safe because we're right there on the median. And now we're going to cross over to this side. We're going to see if we can find ourselves a nice little delicious uh, chocolate shop right now. And I think I see one right down here. Oh, let's sneak over to this side. We got bikes coming. We got a lot going on here. And we're walking up to a place called Al Haq, homemade chocolates. Let's see if they have any. Uh... Hello, hello, namaskaram. Namaskaram. Uh, you have uh, homemade chocolates? Namaskaram. All right. Oh, it's homemade chocolate. All right, all right. All right. I'm gonna. I'm looking for a place where I can sample them. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you're from Kochi. Ah. And you're recommending to go up here? Huh? You recommend to go up here? No, we don't go. We don't know what is there. No. no. Dangerous? Dangerous? No. No, no, no. no. Okay. Don't right. go there. Chalo. Yeah, Chalo. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. All right. Hey, see you. All right. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. Oh, videography. Oh, uh, yeah. This is your shop? Yeah. Yeah. You are videographer? Oh, no. Wow. Who would have thought? Should we get a job here? <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, this is the ultra local stuff, though. Cause you got your main mainstream shops down there. That's where most people go. You come up here, laboratory, a tailor. Salam alaikum. How long will we 
in India, um, one month. One month. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you want there? Uh, we come here to do the sunrise. Sunrise, sunrise hill. Oh. Nice to meet you. Yeah. What are you doing there in England? In England, uh, make yeah. YouTube, YouTube videos. Oh, very well, YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is an Indian uh, culture. Mashallah. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Namaste. Okay. Thank you. It's, it's good. What's around here? Uh, you can go. No. Okay. Okay. Nice perfect. To Bye. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. Really nice locals everywhere here, guys. Everyone's really friendly, welcoming. They are wondering, what are these guys doing walking around with cameras? <laughs> and then as soon as we give them a good old uh, namaskram, then uh, they're like, hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to Manar. Hello. Huzzah. Namaskram. Namaskram. Guys, now we're up right here at the top. If this doesn't give you a bird's eye view of Munar, I don't know what does. A lot going on, even at like 6.30 p.m. here. Sun's pretty much set, but still lively in the city. Lots of uh, churches here. And hello, my friend. Hey. Namaskaram. <laughs> and yeah, we kind of just stumbled upon this place after walking through the villages, guys. We're going to continue probably in a little bit, maybe find even some dinner, try out something local here from Munar, and see where the night takes us. I feel like we've explored a fair amount of the downtown markets area, but I think we have a couple more streets to kind of just uh, leisure our way through and see what we run into. I'm trying to find somewhere to get some delish chocolates because Munar is known for that. This uh, homemade chocolate over there. Oh, all right. As so, we say, chalo. I spot the chocolate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that means we're gonna be working on these bellies today. And here it is guys, we got the Suba biscuit stall. So let's see what we can find here. We've got chocolates on deck up here. Uh-huh. Namaskaram. All right, we've got some delicious stuff. Are those donuts? Mm, they look like it. There's all types of uh, treats I've never seen before. Namaskaram. And fresh chocolates on this side. Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious. We might need to taste test a couple to see which type we're gonna get. Can I taste test a couple chocolates to see which ones to buy? Yeah, try to get some Perfect. I'll serve you, bro. Oh, we've, got, you like? we've got Harry back here. All uh, right, service, please. <laughs> oh. oh. Sorry, sorry. You break it, you buy it, Harry. Is that me? Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, the Jaguar Meister. You break it, you buy it, bro. It's like I'm buying all of these. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be delish, though. Guys, as you can see, we have lots of types of chocolates here. And I'm not sure which flavors to get. I probably need to do a little mix and match. Try out a couple pieces here. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Uh, let's see, uh, that means we're getting spicy chocolates, guys. It's taking over. Uh, my friend? Machan. <laughs> Machan? Hello, my friend. No problem. Oh yes, my friend. I would like to. I would like to uh, taste test one. Uh, do you have spicy? Yeah, sweet only. Sweet, sweet only. Oh, yeah. no spicy. All right, so no spicy. Uh, what type is uh, this one? Uh, yeah, I want to taste test two or three of them and then decide. Perfect. Uh, I taste first. Put it in my hand. My hand. Um, yeah. Perfect, yeah. We'll try that one. I don't know what it is, but the flavor? What's it? Milk? Milk flavor? All right. Oh, milk texture is quite nice. It's like a nice light milky chocolate, like a white chocolate flavor. And the nuts kind of have more of the aftertaste in there. It's quite nice. Mr. Jaggard, what's the next one we should try here? Uh, this Oreo. Oreo? I just made that one. Yeah. Milk. Milk. Uh, can I have one each? Okay. Should I, I just try it? Or? Oh yeah, give it a shot, bro. Mm. That's really good. And it's like a mix of uh, both worlds. Like chocolate vanilla? No, it's just like milk, uh, milk chocolate. Oh, milk chocolate, another one. Yeah. And that's dark chocolate? That's dark? Dark? Yeah. Uh, one of those two, yeah. And we'll try this one. Thank you. Oh, that is very delicious. Mm. No problem, no problem. We'll take uh, one of each. All of them. Yeah, all of them. Mm. You guys, it is so good. I've got chocolate stuck in my teeth right now. We're going to load up these bags here. And he's getting all the good stuff in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's doing actually one of each. Oh, wow. Oh, 
Maybe you misunderstood me. I meant one of each of the uh, three different <laughs> three different types we tried. One of every single thing in the shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They did not expect it. Okay. Well, perfect, my friend. Uh, how much? Fifty pieces. Two fifty. Fifty. Oh, fifty. Thank you, my friend. Oh yeah, we've got a fresh thing of chocolates there, guys. A match made in heaven. Delish chalk. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. And then here's for the taste test. Thank you. Nani, my friend. We'll see you next time. Nani. All right, guys, we got some delish chocolates in the system now. I couldn't be happier. Let's put it that way. See, so, yeah, guys, the 50 rupees I paid for those chocolates were about 65 cents. And then our guy did let us do a taste testing. It just seems like he doesn't do those very often because he was a bit confused. So I gave him uh, another 50 tip for that. Now we're going to see if we can find some chow this way. What do you think, bro? That was the place I saw, but usually you go where it's busy and it's absolutely empty. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. Maybe we keep cruising. Maybe we do the old ask a local. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, and Mr. Jaggard has located a spot for us on Google reviews here, right downtown with a pretty high rating. Tea Tales Cafe, secret passageway up. Good afternoon. Hello. Namaskar. Hopefully it's open. Hello. Oh, they have routers here. Get some Wi-Fi. Oh, there we go. It's not a bad idea. Pick up some uh, Wi-Fi to go. Oh, there it is. Cafe Tea Tales Munar. Namaskaram. Hello, Namaskaram. Supermanos. Oh, you guys got the delish drinks right there, yeah? yeah. Uh, how are they good? Yeah. England and USA. England and USA. Yeah. Yeah. What are your Harry. Vloggers, yeah? Oh, yeah. YouTube yeah. channel? Uh, yep, got the name for you right. Separate YouTube channels. There's one of them? Yeah. There's a, yeah. Where are you guys from? Kerala? Yes. Yeah, very nice. God's Sun State, yeah? Yes. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, well, so, we can get some, some food here. Oh, thank you very much. We can get Nani Aliyah. You guys know. <laughs> Do they sell food here? Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got on the menu, bro. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Hello, my friend. Hi. How are you? I need a one. Uh, do you have a menu? Yes, sir. Oh, perfect. Your good name? Amos. Thank you very much. Amos. Mac. Nice to meet you. Mac. Mac. Yep. All right. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Let's try these things out. See what's on the menu. Oh yeah. Another menu here. Oh, we've got the brownie and ice cream. Oh, Lebanese kebab. Oh, brownie and ice cream. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're gonna be going uh, sweets after sweets nonstop today. Yo, we've got a little bit of everything in here, guys. Coffee, bites, fruit juices, limes, mojitos, non-alcoholic, and there's even something called addictions here. Of course, that was the first one Harry landed on. Brownies, Oreo, Nutella. Mmm. Sounds delish. Brownie and ice cream. Yum. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> you guys know that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're gonna go with, I wonder if they have doses here. Guys, as you can see, we've relocated spots from inside to outside. We've got to enjoy those last 30 minutes, roughly, of sunlight. And we've got a wild dog running. Down, boy, sit. What are you thinking about getting, bro? Uh, this dress here. Oh. The dress, that's looking pretty fresh. Two pieces. Oh, you mean, you mean, you mean, you mean. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, Two pieces, two ninety nine right there though. That's a wow. bargain. Certified. I'm thinking I want to get something local, but it's not really too many options. Yeah. Uh, one question, my friend. Uh, what items are local to Kerala? Uh, local food to Kerala? None. Samosas. Those okay. are Indian. So samosa enough for one person, or? Samosa and something else. How many? How many samosas? One. How many? How many? How many? One, two, three, four, six. Okay, six. 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 Six
as we say, another green juice done. Very good, it's got a minty aftertaste in there. Honestly, I drank it so fast, guys, I can barely taste the flavors. But my whole body is revitalized. I think I'm seeing some limes in there, too. Oh, no, that was the mojito. That's what that uh -huh. was. You guys, I'm forgetting what I ordered here. So the first one we're gonna try here, we're gonna put a little dipping sauce with the mosa. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Literally fresh off the oven, guys. What I love about samosas here, or everywhere where samosas are, is just the fried outside texture. You have that crunch, and then you just have like a creamy type of sauce mixing all of the vegetables together. Just look at how delish that is. Mm. Let's get a uh, closer taste on the exact type of sauce. Spicy? Mm. No, not spicy. It's almost like, I want to compare it to like a honey barbecue. Oh, nice. But I feel like that's the wrong comparison. Maybe the Indian version of it. Mm. Mm. Goes down quite smooth. Now we're gonna try out the chicken here, guys. We got veg and non-veg here. That's the nice part about India. You can find literally veg or non-veg at, I'd say essentially all restaurants. Not all, but like nearly all of them. Because I want to say someone had told me it's somewhere around like 30, 70 split between vegetarians and non-vegetarians. So that's why you'll see so many signs of veg, non-veg. Anyways, we're gonna try out this non-veg samosa. Mm. Oh, 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 baby. That is so, so good. Oh, uh, the hair man's gonna love this. So the chicken in there, I will say, I prefer the chicken over the veg, because I do love my chicken inside a samosa there. I could probably eat easily maybe 12 of these. The crunch, same as the vegetables in terms of texture, but taste there, that chicken, a little spice in there, makes it that much better. Mm. Another bite-sized one here, let's put it down. Yeah, that looks like one bite. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very hot guys, but oh my god. Another one of my favorite foods here in India. And this, Finally. I also don't remember what I ordered there. It looks like uh, some kind of like beetle juice. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, passion fruit juice. Ah. <laughs> Open the gullet. Oh, that's impressive. Ah, wow. another passion fruit. Done. Done. All right guys, we just got the bill back here for us to each get a six pack of samosas, chicken and veg, we got the exact same thing. Uh, you'll have to go to Harry's channel to watch his reactions. Let me tell you this though, he loved them. Then we also got some juices and everything that comes out to about six, 10 rupees. And in USD, that's almost $8 on the dot. So for that meal here at Tea Tales Cafe, right downtown, we kind of stumbled upon this one after Harry looked at some Google reviews. Looked like a good spot, you can get Western food and a couple local items, but it's mostly like Western food. But we tried to go for local and let me tell you this, we did not regret it. It was so, so good. Sire, what'd you think over all oh, those samosas? Delicious with a capital D. I can have it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and twice on Sunday. Oh, there we go. It sounds like he would only eat samosas with days of the week that end with day. Why? What did I say? Because oh. every single day of the week ends with day. <laughs> Uh, Sire's, uh, Sire still doesn't know every single joke that I have, but he'll learn sooner or later. Nani Aliyah. All right, guys, that was a delicious meal. To be honest, I probably could have eaten more samosas if they were in front of me, but wasn't going to overeat this time and order more. So, hello, hello. Uh, yes, uh, we are going to Fragrant Nature. Uh, fragrant Nature. You want to give me the address? Okay. You got it? No, five kilometer. Five kilometer. Five kilometer. Two power roads. Got the light on the Dalu. You know? You know, no, no, both of them. Into there? 150. 150? Apiamo? This is our drive? Yeah. All right, 150, there we go. So we're cruising back, guys, and I'll end the video once we get back, but I'm not gonna end it yet, just in case anything wild happens on the ride back. Uh, yep, oh yeah, I got it. Hello, my friend. All right, we got uh, 200 and uh, chocolates for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Goodbye. All right. <laughs> guys, uh, namaskara. Yeah, guys, I figured I'd give them the uh, chocolates we got earlier because I tasted them and I was like, do I really want to have more sweets? And I was like, maybe it'll make his day, bring it home to a special someone or something, or he can chow on him after the rickshaw ride. But we have made it back, guys. I'm going to give you my final closeout here. The amazing, amazing, amazing city of Munar. Namaskaram! Namaskaram!
Oh, hold on. We're just saying hi to our uh, nice staff here at the hotel, guys. Anyways, yeah, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video, exploring the beautiful city of Munar. It is such a cool place, guys. I love mountain towns. I mean, it's got a population of roughly 30,000, but it feels much larger because of the amount of tourism, obviously. The, uh, it makes the city that much larger for accommodations, tourism activities, and all that stuff. So, so much to do, so much to see. As you guys will see in the upcoming videos here, we're gonna be taking you to some of the best things to do here. Honestly, we only have three nights here, so there's only so much we can see in that amount of time. If I had maybe one more day, I would say that I could see everything, but I will tell you that in the upcoming videos, what we have planned for you guys is an awesome time. We're gonna be meeting locals. We're gonna be seeing some of the natural landscapes around here and doing some fun stuff. So if you guys have enjoyed this one, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, both here in India, as well as all around the world, hit that subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.